The Arizona Department of Transportation, what a lot of folks refer to simply as ADOT, is responsible for planning, building, and operating more than 28,000 lane miles of highway statewide. It is a big responsibility, and it requires a dedicated and diverse group of employees, about 4,300 in fact, from crews who clear away snow and engineers who design bridges, to technicians who maintain computers and officers who make sure semi-trucks follow regulations. Every ADOT employee supports the agency mission to keep Arizona moving in a safe, efficient, and cost-effective manner. Now, of course, the path the agency takes starts from the top with Arizona's governor, whose leadership sets the tone for how our state operates. The governor appoints the ADOT director as chief executive of the agency. The director determines the vision and objectives for Arizona's transportation system. Supporting those objectives is ADOT's policy group. This group monitors the federal and state laws and policies that impact Arizona's entire transportation system. Policy works with the State Transportation Board, that's a seven-member body appointed by the governor to advise ADOT's director. Board members approve the construction program, authorize transportation projects, and award those projects to contractors. The policy group also generates agreements with other public agencies and private organizations so ADOT can deliver the best product possible. Now, before we move on to how ADOT builds and protects the transportation system, let's talk money, specifically where it comes from. ADOT, and therefore your transportation system, is funded primarily by tax revenue from the sale of gas and diesel fuel for cars and trucks. So every time someone pumps gas, 18 cents per gallon goes to the Arizona State Highway Fund and 18 cents per gallon goes to the Federal Highway Trust Fund, which later comes right back to Arizona in the form of federal funding. A few more cents are earned from diesel fuel. ADOT's Motor Vehicle Division also has a huge impact on funding. How? Every time someone registers a vehicle, pays for a vehicle inspection, or applies for a driver license, MVD collects a portion of that revenue for the State Highway Fund. MVD also ensures that everyone using our transportation system is doing so legally and safely. Any guess on how many new Arizona license plates they produced last year? You ready? 1.3 million. That's a lot of new license plates. But MVD isn't the only division safeguarding highways in Arizona. The Enforcement Compliance Division protects the system, as well as the motorists who travel our highways. ECD operates the state ports of entry, identifies and sanctions commercial vehicles that are overweight and unsafe, pulling them off the road when necessary. The division also investigates title and license fraud and conducts thousands of hearings every year related to license and registration suspensions. Okay, up next, the Multimodal Planning Division. MPD essentially creates the blueprint of Arizona's transportation system. It provides planning support and grants to tribes, airports, transit organizations, local communities, and regional governments. After a great deal of research and forecasting to manage Arizona's transportation assets, MPD looks 25 years into the future, creating what's called the Long Range Transportation Plan. MPD also develops the five-year construction program. It details where, when, and how funding will be spent on projects over the next five years. Now, let's take a look at business operations. The business operations division is basically the backbone of ADOT because it provides crucial support functions to the entire agency. Administratively, the division provides financial management and budgeting, human resources and purchasing, as well as safety and risk management. Logistically, business operations provides equipment and fuel services, facilities management and maintenance, and it manages the agency's drinking water, wastewater, and environmental quality programs. Here's something else. The division operates the only state-owned airport at the Grand Canyon, as well as Arizona Highways Magazine. The magazine promotes travel throughout Arizona and manages the big blue logo signs that you see on the roadway directing you to food and lodging. 
Business Ops also oversees ADOT's network of servers, computers, phones, mobile devices, and other technology services. You ever get frustrated with your technology? Imagine if you had 8,000 pieces of technology to contend with. That's how many ADOT's techs support. Wow. Okay, so we've shown you how we fund, protect, and plan the transportation system. Now, let's take a look at ADOT's Intermodal Transportation Division, which oversees the development and operation of the system. ITD studies, designs, builds, and maintains all state and federal highways and bridges in Arizona. Do you remember how many lane miles of highway? Because much of ITD's work is done out in the public eye, it is ADOT's most visible agency. The crews you see repairing guardrail on the highway are part of ITD. The team that maintains highway signs, and there's roughly 500,000 signs around the state, they work within ITD. And the engineers who design and oversee the construction of Arizona's bridges and highways, that's ITD, of course. There are more behind the scenes folks that are just as crucial to keeping things moving here at ADOT. Communications deals primarily with folks outside of ADOT, the public, businesses, and other stakeholders. This group essentially tells the ADOT story. It provides the public with project information, news, and road conditions, and creates public awareness campaigns. And it facilitates relationships between ADOT, businesses, contractors, and other government agencies. Communications also maintains all ADOT websites and social media. Hey, you follow us on Twitter, right? And finally, leadership and employee engagement. This group provides training, leadership, employee development, awards, and recognition, and mentoring. They also offer programs that engage employees to understand their role in the ADOT mission. Okay, so have you got all that? Let's go over it one more time. The governor appoints the director who sets the vision and objectives. Policy monitors impactful legislation and creates agreements with other agencies. Funding is collected, MVD collects additional funding and ensures motorists are using the system legally. ECD protects the infrastructure keeping unsafe commercial vehicles off highways. MPD researches and plans the transportation system. Business Operations provides logistical and administrative support to the agency. ITD designs, builds, operates, and maintains the system. Communications tells the ADOT story. And leadership and employee engagement facilitates employee engagement and provides leadership development. Woo, okay, so that's ADOT in a nutshell. The Arizona Department of Transportation an interdependent group of diverse and dedicated employees, all of whom work hard to fulfill ADOT's mission to keep Arizona moving in a safe, efficient, and cost-effective manner. <laughs>